Obama endorses dozens of Democrats and will hit the road in midterms? Former President Barack Obama announced a list of 81 candidates he's supporting in the 2018 election but the large list of names is missing a few prominent Democrats in high-profile or key races, including left-wing superstar Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. The candidates range from state contests to federal ones and include contenders across the country. They also include Obama loyalists and a diverse range of politicians. I'm proud to endorse such a wide and impressive array of Democratic candidates, he said in a statement Wednesday. They need our votes, and I'm eager to make the case for why Democratic candidates deserve our votes this fall. Among those to receive the former president's blessing are Richard Cordray, who was Obama's director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and is running for governor of Ohio, J.B. Pritzker. The Hyatt Hotel's heir whose family are longtime Obama loyalists and is for governor in Illinois, and Stacey Abrams, who is trying to become the first African-American woman elected governor of Georgia. The majority of candidates he backed were women, who are running in record numbers this year. Jackie Rosen, who's running against Republican Senator Dean Heller in Nevada, got Obama's nod of approval. Heller is seen as the most vulnerable GOP senator running this year. He also backed California Lt. Gov. Gavin Newsom's bid for governor. Newsom's ex-wife, Kimberly Guilfoyle, is now dating Donald Trump Jr. Other officials from his administration got the nod from Obama, Colin Alred, a former Justice Department official running for a House seat in Texas, Amar Campanayar, a former Labor Department official running against California Republican Rep. Duncan Hunter, and Buffy Wicks a former Obama campaign aide running for a California assembly seat. But a number of prominent candidates, including some running in critical races, were missing. Not on his list were Ocasio-Cortez, who stunned party officials when she defeated Rep. Joe Crowley of New York in their June Democratic rally, Beto O'Rourke, who's running to beat Sen. Ted Cruz in Texas, and Rep. Connor Lamb whose win in a March special election drew him national attention while redistricting in Pennsylvania left him in a tough bid against a sitting Republican member of Congress. Also missing were New York Governor Andrew Cuomo and his primary challenger Cynthia Nixon, neither got the president's seal of approval. It's unclear how his help goes beyond his verbal endorsement. Obama hasn't announced any specific campaign plans for the fall although he's said he'd be out on the trail. His endorsements were also strategic in who he didn't mention. He didn't formally endorse Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill of Missouri, for example, who's in a tight re-election campaign in a state President Donald Trump won. Obama did, however, host a fundraiser for her in Hollywood in May. His name ID may not hold the same sway in conservative states as it does in Democratic strongholds or purple states. He is expected to make another round of endorsements before the election. Obama has kept a relatively low profile since he left office. He's made a few speeches and is working on his memoir. He was spotted out in Washington, D.C. on Monday having lunch with his former Vice President Joe Biden. And he attended a Beyoncé concert with former First Lady Michelle Obama at FedEx Field outside Washington over the weekend.